What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley here on the PC, guys. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome. So, guys, today we are in Field 13 yet again. We've got two auger wagons, two combines, two trucks. Shouldn't have much waiting, except for I haven't set this guy yet on the course play. So let's uh, go ahead and record his course real fast over towards the truck and we should be good to go as far as this is concerned. And if auger wagons aren't going to work out then I will run them manually. I'll run the big one manually I should say. Forget the little guy. Forget the little guy. I should probably sell this off in fact. You know what? I might I might do that, honestly. I might. The big one, you know what? Let's just uh, stop. Get rid of you. Go away. Um, I, I feel like this little tractor would be good to have around, but I have the big tractor, so why do I need the little tractor as well? You know, and I have the Herleman. Not that I'm using it, really. Okay, so we need to set this just to, like, auto detect not attacked I was gonna say auto attacked that's not even a thing auto detect now my only question is I didn't set up the course in the field I think it has to be in the field so why don't we stop throw that course away and let's start over let's go big auger wagon all right so I think I want to start getting into animals guys and I don't really know what animal I should get into first because I purchased field 13, I feel like that was the quote next field that I needed. Go to three fields, two combines, two trucks. I don't know what else uh, equipment wise I really need at this point. I mean, I have the big bud to plant with. Uh, this tractor would suffice for anything animal wise. So I don't really know what else I need animal wise or equipment wise before animals. Um, so yeah, there's that. The other thing is that what animal would I get into first? Probably, and I know I'm doing it on Goldcrest right now, is sheep. But sheep are easy. Sheep are very easy, especially at first. So in comparison to, say, cows or pigs to get set up on at first. But I guess I need to ask you guys in the comments down below what animal should I actually get into first on this map? Because, you know, you guys get to make decisions and help me figure out how I'm going to do this map and what we're going to do and all that good stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop and tell you to drive. And you should just auto. You should just, like, auto. There you go. Auto. There you go. You're going to go? You're going to... There you go. Which one are you going to go to? She'll go to this one because he's full. The other one's at 80%. So, I mean, they're both uh, they're both getting along on the full side here. So, there's that. But I feel like to get into animals, especially uh, sheep, all I really need is like a front loader. Move the pallets around and a bucket maybe to empty their clean the grass up. Because I, I don't need conveyor belts and fancy stuff for the the Lily Juno thingy at first. The little, uh, what's that? Where's that even at? Is that animals? Animals? I, I don't need, I don't need this at first, although, I mean, it would be nice, but I don't need it at first. Um, all I really need is something for water, something to mow grass, which, let's see here. I mean, I could go as cheap as that or the yeah, I mean, I could go cheap on this if I wanted to. Or I could go even cheaper. <laughs> I'm trying not to do a repeat of, of Goldcrest, uh, is what I'm trying not to do. I'm not trying to make it the same Let's Play, you know? I mean, really, with the small one, I could probably set up course play, right? For something to mow? Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. So, I mean... Can I course play like this, even though it's not a field? Would that work? Is that a thing that I can I can do? To ask Benedict if that is a thing I could do. 
Because in theory, there's enough grass here to get into sheep. Let's just be real here. You know, there's plenty of grass here. So, I can always plant a field in grass as well because it's so easy to plant uh, plant grass and then you just move on here on 17. So, that is that is a possibility as well. But I feel like I don't really need that much equipment. So, yeah, a rake would be nice, but not really mandatory. Uh, if I actually had one or not. So, I want to get that front mount one. I need to get that mod in here. Add in some more mods to this map. Because mods are always good. It's always good to get some different mods going. So, Alright, I just want to make sure this guy's going to empty, return, and then go to the next combine. Before I go away from this, basically. And I think I am going to go sell that auger wagon and that tractor off. It just seems like a good thing to do, honestly. And, yeah, this guy might not keep up. Wait, where's he going? Hey, hey, um... Truck. Um... Tr tr truck. W why are you... Because you're on that, okay. <laughs> he was on just the drive. On uh, GPS there. Or, of course, play. Because I believe last time when... He was uh, empty or something. Or when I was wrapping up the last harvest, I told him just to go to uh, empty out all the way. All right. So now let's tell him to drive on. So he should go get lined up over here. I think that auger wagon's not empty is the problem. No, he's not. He has like a few liters left. 170. I don't know. 870 maybe. Yeah. So he's waiting to empty is the problem. Maybe not. What is the problem here? You are empty. Why aren't you proceeding? You should, uh... You shouldn't have to stop here. You are on the right thing, right? It's that one. It's that one. I'm... I'm I screw course play up more times than I get it right, guys. Just saying. I do. It's bad still. It is really bad still, but, you know... I'm learning. It's all good. Maybe. I hope. Alright, so take your pick on combines here, bud, because you've screwed around long enough that uh, both combines are ready for you. Alright, so he's going to blast over to him. Hopefully he will hit him just right. We're going to go ahead and turn his... Oh, turn his field speed up a little bit. Otherwise, he is not going to, you know, get anything done in a timely fashion, so... We don't want to go crazy with it, but 25 is not bad. Should work, I hope. Maybe. Problem is, when combines are stopped, they don't like to uh, pull up next to him sometimes, I've noticed. So, like right here, he's not going to pull up to that guy. So, what we have to do, and this is where one arguing wagon, it may not work, is pull up enough to get him over. Or just do it this... Nope, oh, you're still not going to work, man. You're just in the way, bro. Pull up enough to get him over. Oh, my goodness gracious. Quit pulling up on me, bro. Thank you. Alright, so will you just hang tight for a minute, or... Where are you going, dog? <laughs> like I said, this is where one, one auger wagon may not work to keep up with two combines on this field because of that stopping reason. When they uh, go to pull up, they're not uh, not the smartest, uh, you know, not the sharpest stack in the drawer, or the brightest crayon in the box, or however you would like to say it. Okay, go to the other guy now. Go, go, Gadget, go. There you go. That's why I'm paying you the big bucks, bro. Come on. I may go to just run and wagon myself, honestly. Alright, let's see if he gets blocked. Let's go off with this guy. Off with this little tractor, little auger wagon combo. It served us well. It really has. It's got 22.2 hours on it. Most of the time, of course, is with course play, but it's been a good little tractor and auger wagon combo, honestly, for us. It really has been. So, it's time to get rid of it, though, honestly, guys. It really is. And like I said, we can uh, maybe start working towards buying some of our uh, uh, what's it called? Grass mowing stuff and 
and whatnot. So there's that. There is that. But I don't, I don't know. I'm debating if I should get rid of the tractor or not, honestly. If I should keep the tractor, just get rid of the auger wagon. And then after the harvest, maybe start working on, on my stuff. That's kind of what I'm leaning more towards right now. Because this would be a good little mowing tractor. This would be a good little... Heck, I wouldn't even need to buy a front loader. I can just put arms on here. You know, I already own the tractor. It makes sense to me to keep it, honestly, at this point. Let's get our $12,000 out of that bad boy. And let's see, for $12,000, the problem is I don't believe there's any grass storage on this map. So that's a problem. I don't really want to go with that. Although if I go with that, then I can get this eventually to go with it. So... I could just go with, with the self-propelled, but like I said, I'm trying not to make it a direct copy of the other map, basically. I'm really trying not to do that. So, all right, these trucks do not like these uh, uh, train tracks from time to time. Not at all. They're not fans. Need to get a trailer without, uh, you know, legs. If that's even a thing. It's probably not, but you know. Be kinda nice at times, wouldn't it? Go back to riding with our auger wagon here for a minute. It's kinda I'm playing this map in such a way that it's kinda like hands off farming. At least that's the theory. So in these episodes sometimes there's like not a lot for me to do because it is kind of more of a hands off farming approach to to playing this map, honestly, it really is. Hence why missions. I've been doing missions. Let's actually, hey, let's look for a field. Uh, yeah, let's look for a field to start a mission on. Why not? I don't really want to do a harvesting mission. I'd rather do like a cultivating or a fertilizing. Let's go to field five and check that out. What's, whoa, what did I just do? What did I do? I didn't hit money my um, F keys. It's really weird. My dev tools. Yeah, no. See, we're not going to do that mission. <laughs> uh, not happening, bro. Sorry. What other field is not... Let's go field 10. Oh, these are my favorite missions. The fertilizing missions with the slurry tanker. Oh, yeah. You can roll these missions. The slurry tank is so big that it is just awesome. It is just awesome. I like these missions quite a bit, honestly. All right, let's unfold. Of course, we use GPS with auto turn. So, there again, hands off farming. I, I like it on this map. It's definitely different, but it's a good way to play the map, in my opinion. So, there's that. 10 is kind of a bigger field. I mean, they're all decent sized fields. This is a 4X map, after all. You guys know that. So, yes. Okay, so. I started doing more of, uh, oh no, I lost my lines because of my, whoa. Here, hang on one second, guys. Don't mind. Don't mind the craziness. Let me just get this set up. I don't remember hitting F5, though. That's the thing. That is just the thing that I do not auto turn. Uh, remember doing. Okay. So, you're on GPS, we turn this on, and go. And minimize our GPS as well. So, yeah, guys, I uh, I don't remember hitting F5, so I don't know why my dev tools are freaking out like they are. I will have to exit and come back in before I play for the Wednesday, Thursday video. I will have to do that. Um, I will have more of your comments, guys, on the Thursday video, or comments at all. I forgot to look at them before recording this video, so I will have to go fish through fish through comments. Words are hard. I will fish through some comments and have answers to your comments on the Wednesday video. So yes, uh, somebody was talking about when I made the mod video for those Kool-Aid man, Kool-Aid man, Kool-Aid whatever the Kool-Aid auger wagon field bin things field bin mother bin that's the word um, somebody was saying that I need to bring them here to rattlesnake and I don't 
I don't see that happening, honestly. This map is too... A little too tight for the, for those in the roads and stuff. You need you need area to turn with those bad boys. So I would probably not bring in the mother bins to this uh, to this particular map. So that doesn't mean I won't use them somewhere in the future or maybe on our uh, ba 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 What's it called? I want to put them on uh, Cherry Hill, honestly. I think that would be a good place for those, is on Cherry Hill, so, okay, are we, we, we broken again over there? Mm. No, okay, he's actually working, cool. Cool, 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 I thought he was broken. My apologies, alright. So, yeah, I want to bring in the Kuleman, Kule, Kulema, Kuleman, I don't, Kool-Aid, all right? It's Kool-Aid. Uh, I know it's an Australian company. Uh, it's very, very cool. I'm not trying to disrespect that person or those people that make those. I just, I'm American and I say Kool-Aid. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I could totally see bringing those to Cherry Hill. Not so much on this map. So there is that. I'm actually going to find comments right now for next video. Cause like I said, I totally forgot totally totally forgot to look through comments and my apologies like i said my apologies so if you guys have a, a question a comment or whatever feel free to leave it down below guys and i will try to get to it maybe not next week's videos but the week after because i do most of my recordings on tuesdays which is like random but that's when i have time to do most of like the the four let's play recordings that i do in a week, I, I pretty well sit down on Tuesdays. Well, that's before the week's worth of videos come out, obviously. Or, or you know, one video has come out, the Rattlesnake, on Tuesday. Which is this video right now that I'm making. But, you know, by the time I get to see the comment, it might be two weeks before I answer. So be patient if you guys ask a question in the comments. It might be a minute before I'm able to uh, answer it on video. But I enjoy answering them on video, honestly, more than replying back. Um, I feel like I can go a lot more in depth answering comments um, in a video. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy that. I mean, I'm having fun with it, and I hope you guys are as well. There's uh, one video had three comments, the other video had 15. So I will definitely have stuff to talk about in the next one. And I think a lot of it was those 15 comments. A lot of that was uh, about when I was talking about the hater. The hater in the comments and a lot of you guys were awesome about that so i really do appreciate that you guys are really really good uh about that so I, I appreciate that guys and i think i may have touched on that in last week's video that's coming out it's a whole thing guys it's a whole thing so there's that there is that are we stuck over there or is that the... hang on Why are we still... He's not actually emptying. I'm gonna fail my mission. Crap! I didn't mean to fail my mission. He was not emptying, he was just stuck there. That's okay. I failed my mission, whatever, it's all good. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I mean, I just lost money, but... We need to get these guys rolling, man. This is killing me over here. Why is he stuck right there? Go, bro! Why are you broken? Why are we... Why are we not... Uh, I know you're stuck. Because you're stupid. Therefore, you are stuck. Is that combine going? Okay, the combine's going. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? <laughs> Please go! Please, 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 please. I know that combine's waiting for you over there. I know he is. Tell you what, we're just gonna, oop. And we'll go drive this manually. So I missed out on a lot of money with my mission over there, but whatever. Uh, I gotta keep my own harvest rolling, guys. It's kind of important to keep it rolling for me, honestly. 
but yeah, I feel like I already answered a bunch of these comments in the video about the hater. Maybe I didn't last week. I don't know. Honestly, guys, between streaming and recording, it's a lot, and I kind of forget what I talk about in videos. So if I ever talk about the same stuff in two different videos, that's kind of why. It's just a lot to keep up with. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love what I do, and I'm actually looking at adding more stuff here soon. So keep an eye out for that. It won't be farm sim related. I'm looking at starting a Minecraft series from our Plowcraft server, as we call it. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned for that one. I'm looking to start that soonish. Soonish, anyway. Soonish. No date on that exactly yet, but uh, soonish. All right. That looks about like like a video, guys. Um, course play frustrates me, but you know, it's pretty typical, right? <laughs> pretty typical. All right, guys. We will jump ahead. Um, let's see. We should probably jump ahead quite a bit, honestly, before we record the Thursday video maybe get to the last field even so we're talking about quite a jump but i will do that for you guys uh, i know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing the same harvest on the same fields in these videos and i agree but that's farm sim and that's just kind of what the game is so i will jump ahead guys we will probably get to the last field maybe maybe so i won't record it today i'll record it uh like Thursday or something for me real time and I will just move on to something else and play this later tonight like late tonight while I'm watching Game of Thrones because oh love that show anyway thank you guys so much for watching another Rattlesnake I really do appreciate it we will catch you with more every day on YouTube obviously come on now uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that like button for more subscribe if you have not already done so and as always toodles